good morning children children i hope you all are fine i welcome you all to today's session of chemistry and we are on to a very very interesting chapter which is atomic structure your chapter number 4 and children you all know that atoms are the basic constituents of any particle any matter which is there right so they are everywhere and that is what tells us speaks in volumes about their importance so please follow me very closely as i move ahead in this chapter sugar salt sand diamond graphite copper silver gold iron aluminium wood rocks minerals food and fabrics are all different kinds of matter right children they are all different kinds and you find all these things everywhere around you right everywhere around you the moment you move around yourself you will find these things being present there right an indian philosopher marshi kannad right he once said that if we go on dividing matter we will get smaller smaller particles of matter and ultimately we will get the smallest particle of matter which cannot be further divided based on this philosophy carnot was one of the first person to propose that matter is made up of very small particles called parmanu and children if you just go by this word which is given here right you will find that it sounds like kana kana so you can call kana has been derived from the name of this person carnot because he discovered parmanu right but we don't regard indian mythologies indian saints as uh, as substantial evidence now see john dalton called these particles by the name of atom right see carnot said that if we divide any matter into small small particles we will get ultimately we will be getting parmanu and dalton gave these the name of atom and dalton existed much years after carnot had existed right the word atom means indivisible something which cannot be divided further another indian philosopher pakuda katyayan went a step further and proposed that the particles of matter atoms of parmanu normally exist in a combined form and various combinations of particles give us various kinds of matter right so this entire concept i feel that has come from india and this guy pakuda katyayama he said that these parmanus they normally exist in a combined form and this combined form is called molecules which now we all know that the combined form of atom is now called molecules we now know that all matter is made up of small particles called atoms and molecules so children the contribution of these two great gentlemen pakhuda katyayama then kannad can never be underestimated and also of a foreign scientist called dalton or john dalton in whose name there is an atomic theory right okay different kinds of atoms and molecules have different properties due to which different kind of matters also show different properties right yeah if the constituent atoms and molecules will have different properties then the matter will also be showing different properties an atom is the smallest particle of an element that can take part in a chemical reaction this is the definition of the atom right so please underline this much that an atom is the smallest particle of an element that can take part in a chemical reaction right this you need to learn by heart now atoms of most of the elements are very reactive and do not exist in free state as a single atom they exist in combination with the atoms of the same element or another element right right different atoms elements have different atoms they exist in combination not alone 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल एटम्स ऑफ आयरन आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम एटम्स ऑफ सिल्वर एलिमेंट नो जस्ट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट जॉन डेल्टॉन इट पुट फॉरवर्ड इज एटोमिक थ्योरी ऑफ मैटर इन एटीन जीरो एट द वेरियस पॉस्टुलेट्स ऑफ जॉन डेल्टॉन्स एटोमिक थ्योरी ऑफ मैटर वर ऑल मैटर मैटर इज मेड अप ऑफ वेरी स्मॉल पार्टिकल्स कॉल्ड एटम्स एटम्स कैन नॉट बी डिवाइडेड एटम्स कैन नीदर बी क्रिएटेड नॉट डिस्ट्रॉयड राइट दैट मीन्स एटम इज द स्मॉलेस्ट पार्टिकल and we cannot divide it further because if we divide you will say that atoms contain electron proton and neutron but electron in its own cannot do all the functions which an atom can do same is true for proton and neutron but atoms can do all the functions of a molecule right atom can neither be created nor destroyed yeah one form of atom changes to the other form that can we cannot create them atoms are of various kinds there are many kinds of atom as are elements yeah the number of elements you all know 118 elements are there and as many elements are there as many atoms are there right atoms of different elements have different properties right because if they will have similar properties then everything will be same there won't be different elements okay however some of the postulates of dalton's atomic theory were not correct For example, it was assumed that atom is indivisible. However, studies showed that atom can be further divided into fundamental particles like electron, proton, and neutrons. Right? Now, what children this means? What does the meaning of fundamental particles? Right? See, fundamental particle basically means that they have their own identity. See, electrons they have negative charge. protons they have positive charge and neutrons are neutral they have their individual identities that is what is the meaning of fundamental particles and now there is another word here postulates postulates are some of the results which scientists obtain from an experiment right when a scientist does an experiment then there are certain results which he gets which he terms it as postulates okay now studies have shown that electrons are negative in charge just i have told you that positive and neutrons neutral the center of the atom consists of a tiny core which is called nucleus protons and neutrons form this tiny core of electrons will revolve around this core in a fixed path this path are called orbits right you all remember the structure of an atom which is there right we all have drawn it right it is like this see at the center there is a heavy nucleus and around it there are shells right there are some shells like this the orbits these are the electrons and inside is there is proton and neutron right and these are electrons revolving around it this part inside is called the this part here is called the nucle as it is called the nucleus n u c l e u s is the spelling n u c l e u s is called nucleus right i must have missed out e here okay right next is molecules now what are molecules molecule of an element contain two or more similar atoms chemically combined together for example right this is the definition which you can underline molecules of an element contain two or more atoms combined together right and children you know they combine through different kind of bonds which you will be studying later on electrovalent covalent bond then hydrogen bond coordinate bond and others right now for example a molecule of hydrogen element contains two hydrogen atom combined together and it is written as h2 hydrogen gas con consists of h2 molecules and not single atoms of h right as you can see here h plus h will form hydrogen molecule similarly nitrogen gas exists as n2 molecule oxygen as o2 and molecule as of chlorine gas as cl2 as is visible from this chart right now children 
फॉस्फोरस एलिमेंट्स एस फोर्स फॉर फोर फॉस्फोरस एटम्स कंबाइन टुगेदर एंड दे फॉर्म अ पी फोर मॉलिक्यूल राइट देन मोर द नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट द मोर द नंबर रिटेन डाउन द एल्फाबेट इंक्रीजेस ना एटॉमिक सिटी सी द नंबर ऑफ एटम्स प्रेजेंट इन वन मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ एन एलिमेंट इज कॉल इट्स एटॉमिक सिटी यू अंडरलाइन दिस द नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट प्रेजेंट इन वन मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ एन एलिमेंट इज कॉल्ड इट्स एटॉमिक सिटी द एटॉमिक सिटी इज ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स मोनो एटॉमिक डायटॉमिक ट्राई एंड पॉली एटॉमिक इफ देयर इज वन एटम इट इज कॉल्ड मोनो एटॉमिक राइट एंड हियर दट यू नीड टू रिमेंबर इज नोबल गैसेज आर सेट टू बी मोनो एटॉमिक बिकॉज दे डो नॉट रिएक्ट विद एनी थिंग सो दे स्टे अलोन राइट now we come to diatomic diatomic right like hydrogen nitrogen see two is written after each and every alphabet beneath each and every alphabet two is written so these are diatomic similarly triatomic ozone because there are three is there three atoms exist together a polyatomic more than three a phosphorus p4 sulfur having eight atoms in its molecule right now what is a molecular formula the molecular formula of an element is the statement of composition of its molecule in which symbols tells us the elements and the subscript tells us how many atoms are present in one molecule so i request you all to please underline this much part right this is the definition of a molecule right please underline the molecule sorry you have to underline this entire thing from the top here all the three lines and then the part which is here at the top are present in one molecule yeah this is the definition now one molecule of hydrogen element contains two atoms of hydrogen therefore the formula of is h2 right now if i take it as o2 here this is the element and this is the number of atom right please remember this and you, now you go through this chart h2 hydrogen then n2 then oxygen and so on next is molecules of compounds now compounds are those where the elements are different where different elements combine now molecule of a compound contains two or more different types of atoms chemically combined together for example hydrogen chloride is a compound the molecule of hydrogen chloride hcl contains two different kinds of atoms like hydrogen and chlorine molecule of water has hydrogen and oxygen as you can see from this diagram the molecular formula of a compound molecular formula of a compound is the statement of its composition in which the chemical symbols tells us which element are present in the subscript and and the subscript tells us how many atoms of each element are present in one molecule of the compound formula of sub molecular compounds are given below right and these are the some of the molecular compounds see water hydrogen and oxygen they are the elements present now uh, see this ammonia what is there nh3 is the formula and nnh are there and so on and so forth you can go through this now molecules of an element they contain two or more similar atoms chemically combined together molecule of a compound contain two or more different type of atoms combined together see the example which is here now test your understanding the smallest particle of an element is called atom a combination of atoms is called molecule atomic city of oxygen ozone is 3 element present in a molecule of ammonia are ammonia formula is nh3 so n and h n is nitrogen h is hydrogen atoms can be further divided into you all know electron proton and neutron 
so i think let us stop here and i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did in making it and until we meet again it's a goodbye